The limited edition Santa Paddy plushie is available now for delivery before Bridgemas. They make great drummers. Anyway, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Poddy Bridge 3. Now, quick disclaimer, I've just moved house. I'm in a brand new office, a brand new room. If there's some audio issues like echoing and stuff, I apologize. I will fix. Uh, hopefully there isn't though. Anyway, today we are carrying on our Poddy Bridge campaign, although there is a weekly and I'm really bad at the weeklies. They're really hard. Let's have a look. Storage elevator. Now, the fact it's says elevator means I'm not I'm not keen on this but look materials there's no hydraulics so you know what that means let's play so we've got 42 and a half grand the description is use the lift to your advantage okay so what is the lift well first off what do we have to do so a the bulldozer you've got to go down to there that is a stop so when you stop there this little motorbike will go behind you should head over the top get the start head down to the flag and then the bulldozer will move again so let's press play oh my god what is going on there? Okay, so that spinning around is lifting that up and down. Got it. So if I just do three bits of road over to like there and then we've got a node down there so we can do a little truss like that. Oh, that oh the thing landed on my bridge. Move everything left slightly. Okay, so that goes over there. Oh, it pushes that off the edge and then oh my god, <laughs> it hit him on the edge. Tell you what, I tell you what, let's turn the grid off. I reckon if I sort of timed this right, maybe I could get this to work. So you land on there. You've got to get the start. Oh, that's not getting the start. I mean, alternatively, I guess I could try and hold that up in the oh no, because it's it goes up and down, doesn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> this is carnage. I mean, okay, so if you go in there, and when you come down oh no, what broke? What broke? Everything's breaking. Okay, what about that then? What about that? You go in there, then you stop. This motorbike... Oh, it doesn't make it on top. All right, can that squeeze under? Quick. Yes, yes. Now, motorbike, we got a ramp. Oh, you knob. All right, what if I build a little ramp on there? Yeah, I think that will work will it actually i've just realized i don't have much room that might be okay actually ready this little ramp should yes help the motorbike up that gets there and then falls to his doom all right so then i just do a bit of road over this side hope the bike doesn't destroy it you absolute architect okay i've added springs i've added springs there we go so now you get crushed by that <laughs> but it's okay it comes back yes we did it <laughs> 35 grand that cost. I'm in the bottom 19%. You just see the top score. Two grand? Two grand? Anyway, let's have a look at one of those two grand solutions. So you didn't you didn't build anything. Where's wait, what? 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 <laughs> hang on. Hang on a sec. Let's see the next one. Okay, someone that's actually shown us what they did. What? They did the tiniest ramp. They got a little node. Like, can you see a little bit of dangly wood or something? That is the cheesiest thing I've ever seen. Like, look at this one. <laughs> They're like on a kid's plaything, like a seesaw or something. Patience of a saint. But I guess if you wait long enough, it's sort of like the thousand monkeys thing. Because uh, the bike can finally make it over and then everything else makes it over. What? <laughs> Okay, let's go to the highest on the budget. See what people did with their money. RCE propaganda. That is what I'm talking about. So pretty much similar thing. You just hold the road up. But when you use RCE propaganda, it's all good in the hood. Yeah, this gets crushed as well. No, this one. Oh, the whole RCE propaganda is going up and down. <laughs> Look at the support under there. Uh, wow, someone really... <laughs> So I really took care of the movement there. Just add springs. It'll all be fine. And look at that contraption in the middle. Look at that. <laughs> Wood and springs for days. Oh, this one has a bit of RT propaganda. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, pretty similar to mine. You need a spring on the right. Just oh, actually, no. I didn't use a spring on the right to suspend. I had a like vertical bit of wood that it landed on. Oh my, look at, look at the state. Oh, that's actually really clever. I was about to say, look at the state of that. But if we watch that again, look, this sorts it. So heavier vehicles go down, lighter ones go up because the number of springs. That's really clever. Not as clever as that. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, anyway, in the campaign, we're taking on the Serene Cyclades. So we're on to this level. It's a trap door where it looks like we've got to get the, the long horn over to the flag and then the DeLorean goes but you can see, can you see the arrows there? That means it's got to come back and it's got to end up up the top, uh, which basically means we've got to add a trap door and I think we've got to add it to this end. So oh, we've only got 19 bits of road. Anyway, let's shove that across there. We'll go boosh. Ooh, first boosh of the new house. Love it. And then we've got eight pieces of road to do a trap 
door. What I was thinking, if I go down to like there-ish, actually, let's go, let's go like three across. Okay, so that seems all right for the road. I reckon possibly go with a tension bridge on this one. So if we go underneath like that sort of thing, we can put ropes along there because that's the bit that's going to be in tension. We can then swap that to the other side. Boosh. Then do we have a tension bridge? Oh my goodness, it failed instantly. Okay, so we may need to add just like a little bit of that down there. I'll swap those with wood. So now that is strong enough. We've just got to sort out this end. So if we bring you like that, I need this to be tall enough that the DeLorean will fit under. And then basically this bit of road, that's going to be like the cat flap. So when the longhorn goes down, it should be fine. When the DeLorean comes, it flaps it up. So basically, if we have a little truss there, this is going to be the hinge. And I could potentially just rope over to there. And that should be good. No, it failed. It failed. Okay, what I may need to do, just add like a point like that and then do my rope. Just so this has more strength. So nice. That does it. That gets across. And then do we have the power to lift up the bridge? Oh, yes, but that snapped. So potentially cable on that side. Cable's very expensive though. Uh, we're still under half budget, which apparently is an achievement. Does it work? Oh, it's such a such a harsh landing. If I bring that down a bit, will that help us at all? I should probably turn the stress on as well. And let's just watch this in slow motion. So we can see as this falls down how... Oh, that snaps. Okay, maybe swap that with cable. Okay, so this time I've gone a bit to town. We've used a lot of steel. We've even got a steel muscle in there. But look, it is strong enough, which means you can get to that side and then you turn around. And then hopefully we've got the strength that it can go up the ramp. Yes, it can. We've done the level. We are over half budget though. Uh, we're also in the top 16%. Now I've been aiming for top 1% on every single level in this world. I've done it so far. So let's have a go at trying to make this cheaper. Now what I'm thinking these, these ropes, they're pretty expensive to be honest. Like that's five grand. So if we delete everything, let's try and dead. We, we, I was surprised how much road we had left over. I think we had like six left over. So if we were to do like an arch instead, we should still have, yeah, we still got seven bits of road left. So that's fine for our cat flap. The benefit with doing this is like our cat flap can go like a lot flatter and hopefully that means less force which will like destroy the bridge underneath. So let's just truss this up. So we end up with that. You know, we then just need to do the cat flap bit. So let's just truss this bit up there. And then as before, we do the rope and the steel. So is that strong enough to get down? Oh, it was. If we turn the stress on, oh, it's a bit of a kadunk. So we can make these trusses bigger. Because as we know, a bigger truss is a stronger truss, uh, at least until the triangles get like equilateral. So it's something like that. Good. I've smoothed out the road a bit. Yeah, that gets across. Let's just see what happens here. Oh dear. So the force of trying to lift up the cat flap wasn't good. Uh, so I'm thinking wall brace just under this side. So has that helped? Yes, it did. It did help, but uh, not enough. But I added a bit of steel in there and now that seems to work, but it looks like the DeLorean doesn't have the power to lift it up. But if I just speed up time, a bit of patience, it gets through, but as you saw that, the, the rope wasn't strong enough. So we'll swap both of the ropes with cable. All right, and then it's through this. To oh, no, what broke that? Why did you break? Okay, well, let's just connect that from up there. That should take some of the impact. Or well, let's just put a muscle in. That worked. Steel muscle. We're still two grand cheaper than we were. I don't think we're going to be top 1% territory yet. And I don't even know if it will make it. Yes, it will make it. Okay, that's good at least. Top 10%. We beat Tyler by two grand, so I'm happy. We're 750th. I gotta get down to top 1%. Okay, so I think biggest issue is probably this top bit. So if I just delete like everything to do with that. That's not connected. Is it? No, that's not connected. Okay, so I just need I need a way to lift this up that doesn't impact the bridge below. I could put a little wedge there, but that doesn't do that doesn't do the end, this flappy bit. I mean, oh, that worked. That did work. The thing is, I don't think Lauren's going to fit, is it? Oh, it does. It does. Oh, and because it's got flex, it came down in like two pieces. Okay, please, 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 please have the strength to do... Oh, you knob. 
absolute knob to that rope break. I could put cable in, but then we're sort of back up to the price we were almost. Well, maybe not. 24 grand. Yeah, you can sort of see what I've done there. I've just done a bit of bit of steel in there. And then I've just, rather than doing a truss on top of those, I've just got two bits of wood just to try and make the impact less. Oh, no. So that steel broke. Oh, I did it. I did it. I just tweaked that bottom node. Okay, we're under 25 grand. Top, oh, only top 6%. 421st. I got I got quite a few percents to shave off. All right. How can I save a lot of money? I mean, to save the most amount of money, keeping the similar concept, but I need to sort of I think I need to build it within my bridge structure. Rather than doing a separate structure for the cat flap, I've got to build it within the bridge. I mean, if I were just a rope from the bridge. So basically, this road is all hanging from the bridge. Uh, it's not strong enough. Let's just put some steel in there for now. Okay, so car gets across, okay. Does the cat flap work? You see it's hanging from the bridge? Ooh. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. So now it comes back. Does it have the strength? I'm worried. Oh, Oh, no, it nearly made it. Oh, what's it doing? What's it doing? It really likes that bit of road. It really likes that road. Okay, let's put another steel there for now. Is that stronger? Okay, that's stronger. 21 grand. And I've got steel I can trim out. Top 3%. We're guessing there. So I need to make that wood. Then probably just need to make these trusses bigger. Did the, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't work in the slightest. I mean, I could potentially put road in there. That is cheaper than steel, but out. Yeah, we don't have the headroom anymore. What if I... Can I put, like, that on top? Just to reinforce that... Oh, that went really red. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, the extra weight makes it fail, I think. Um, I wonder, if I bring the road this side, will that still work? No, it's too lumpy now. Yeah, you can see the drop. That's no good. Yeah, proper anti-speed hump. So we need to connect that side so you can see how much smoother that road is. Oh, we just don't have the strength. All right, let's slow it right down and try and work out where... These are the two bits that break. So, oh, it's the speed hump. What if I bring that bit down then to get rid of the hump? Okay, slow it down again. So as it goes over that, any breaks? No. But then that one is a bit steep. Oh, no, we're good. Are we good? Speed it up. We're good. We did it. Just over 21 grand. Oh, top 2%. How much money do I need to save to move up the rank? Oh, at least 100 quid. Let's have a look. Does that rope... Oh, that rope does move. I can't swap that. I was thinking maybe I could just wood that. I may have to lift it up. That could work. Or it could make everything fail. Okay. Well, let's watch with the stress on. Particularly down this side. I feel like I can probably reduce the truss. Yeah, let's have a go at bringing these down a little bit and this one down a bit as well and then perhaps in the middle all of these just down a little smidge because we've saved quite a few hundred quid there and that looks fine is it fine going back the other way yes it is is that enough top two percent fine i'll move these down a little bit more especially these middle ones they can come down a lot now my bridge looks dented but it's still strong Twenty thousand two hundred and twenty. Oh, still in the top 2%. Yeah, let's bring these middle ones down quite a lot. Okay, we're under 20 grand now. We're still in the top 2%. <laughs> Come on, game. Way there we go. Top 1%. Let's have a look in the gallery at the cheapest design. Oh my goodness. You cheesy, cheesy bit of bacon. <laughs> what is that? So yeah, very small. How does that trap door, like, stay up? I don't understand. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Seems like everyone just went, like, utter tension cheese until this one. Mere engineer. How did you do that? How is that so much cheaper than mine? I mean, I guess the trap door. How did that not break? The angle. Oh, I got a large banana bridge. Go Saigon with a large banana. Uh, oh, very steep arch. I guess that means you can use a lot less truss. But yeah, it seems like most people realize you gotta you got to incorporate your trap door into the bridge. Anyway, let's have a look at the highest budget. Oh, RC propaganda. A cable stayed version. How's this gonna work? That's cool. And then it, it trap doors on the way back as well. <laughs> So unnecessary. This one, oh, suspension bridge. That is what we like to see. So we got foundations on either side to take these piers. 
But yeah, suspension. Got elephant. Oh, someone's. Oh, look, look. I told you they were elephant heads. Some people in the comments, they thought. Well, you don't want to know what they thought that was. But as we can see, someone's finally added a label to confirm it's just an elephant's head. Now, this one, we got a very, very long trap door. And there's a foundation in the middle. So that is pricey. Emma has expensive taste, it seems. Uh, oh, that is a lovely truss. Bit of a bilf, that one. And then what is going on underwater there? I do not know. But what I do know is with another top 1% in the bag, let's go on to the next level. It's called Drag Race. So for this one, we've got two motorbikes. And if we press play, you can see they go at the same time. Where have they got to end up? Oh, down there. But oh, can you see A1 is before A2? And there won't be space if A1 goes first. And if we look at the start, the acceleration of the chopper is a lot more than the moped. So I feel like there's two ways of doing this. Boosh. And it's probably you take the, the top guy and you make him go like uphill to like really slow it down. So something like that means, yeah, look, the chopper can't get up, meaning moped has won the race. So moped goes to the flag at the end and then we need the chopper to make it. Unfortunately, chopper doesn't actually have the power to get up. So if we speed it up, maybe we do. Maybe we do. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we do. Now, the other thing I'm worried about as well is obviously this is going to fall on the bridge, which means the bridge would have to be stronger. Because look, if the chopper just drops off, boosh, straight through the bridge. Hey, I'm just wondering though, if I were to do like a double decker bridge, then make it high enough so that the moped can fit underneath. Oh, that's not strong enough. Hmm, I feel like this one might need a bit of tweaking and stuff. So I guess for you guys, it's engineering time. You, you raise the trust so I can calculate loads. You raise the trust, you move every single node. I'll build spans across rivers that are so wide. You raise the trust to give boats more headroom. You raise the trust so I can calculate loads. You raise the trust, you move every single node. I'll build spans across rivers that are so wide. You raise the trust. To give boats more headroom. Okay, okay, so I finally did it. <laughs> it this is cheesy. I'm gonna say it's cheese. Uh, this is my top solution. Uh, bottom, just a nice little truss. I've got one that I can shave. I haven't really shaved this yet. That's why I put a bit of an arch on it. I've got the under support here because look, basically this road catches him and then he falls down, lands on the moped's head and then he gives him a bit of a nudge. Hopefully we have the strength Stress went pretty high then, but they finish in order. We did it for 15 grand, 280 quid with the top 1% first try. What? Uh, let's watch out with the stress on. Can we like, I mean, that goes pretty red, but this truss, yeah, I reckon like this end, we can definitely bring these down a bit. Maybe that one as well. And then I don't think I can swap that with wood because that, we had the butterfly effect. Maybe I can just make these a bit taller. No, butterfly effect is pretty mad in this game sometimes. Can I roll? Road under there? Nope. But if I steal, it doesn't work. I mean, 14,795. Well in the top 1%. We're 57th in the world. Did we beat Tyler? Yeah, we absolutely destroyed him. Uh, top score. Eight grand? Eight? Let's have a look in the gallery at the lowest budget. So eight grand. Okay, so <laughs> it's a dangly bridge. It's a very dangly bridge. So yeah, all the top solutions, they all pretty much just do the same thing. This one's a bit different. 12 grand. Ooh, they use like... Ah, they use a bit of a swing to get him down. And then a very, very cheap bridge in the middle using the sort of the angle to stop this going underneath, which means you can use less pieces. Good work, Stone. Uh, looks like I'm not the only person to do the road up top sort of solution. I mean, this one could be mine. Pretty similar. No wall brace though. Yeah, looks like everyone realized you ought to do the weird flappy bit of road. I'm sort of intrigued to see sort of middle of the leaderboards. 
how people did this like without cheesing. I couldn't really think of a solution. But, like, even these ones, they're using dangly bits of road. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes, this is sort of what I thought. Top bit of road. Just make it a lot longer, a lot slower. Give the moped time to get ahead. <laughs> Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, another solution. Make the make the chopper drive up, which is slower because it hasn't got the torque. And then do the drop, presumably oh, onto the moped's head. Didn't see that coming. Not going to lie. Intrigued by the highest budget here. I mean, we can finally zoom out on this one. Oh, my goodness. Someone likes trusses. Uh, this... Alan! Alan! What is Alan doing back? The chopper's driving on the chopper. <laughs> Is that allowed? I'm not sure that's allowed. All right, so we've got more RC propaganda. Thank you very much. Oh, and look, an uppy downy. Oh, I get stuck on the ridge. More RCE propaganda. This one. Oh, I don't know what's going on with those. There we go. There we go. Even more RCE propaganda. I believe that's called a Prince Albert. And this one has the RCE propaganda underwater. All right, and then what do we have here? I see the RCE propaganda, but look at this. It's sort of like a, like a crane. So it's weighted there. So he got hit by that. The other one... Oh, the other one does nothing. I thought that other one might slap on the back of the head. That's quite an unusual... <laughs> oh, that's also quite unusual. Um, oh, look at this up above. We've got the rough trick. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Slowing him down. And oh, then who's it? Is this my rival? ICE? Are you ICE or RCE gang? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, next time we have the final level to try and take down as top 1%. Uh, and then we'll go back to another world. So maybe it'll be the springs one. Maybe it'll be custom shapes. Oh, that sounds exciting. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and bridges. Bye, guys.